And now the end is near And so I face the final curtain Good afternoon, drillers. It's kind of a weird way to say goodbye, but I figured on this Sunday afternoon I would take this chance to just take two or three minutes and say goodbye to all of you. I apologize, first of all, for not being a baccalaureate and graduation this year. Family obligations call me, uh, and as you know, I have a jury to do this next week, so who knows how long that's going to last. So I just wanted to take two or three minutes and say goodbye to all of you and let you know what a colossal pleasure it has been for me to be your teacher. In a few hours, I'm going to be watching the finale of one of my favorite shows of all time. It's an old man show, Mad Men. None of you watch it because you're young, but I'm an old man, and I love it. And it revolves around the trials and tribulations of a man named Don Draper. And Don Draper is very flawed. He's lost two marriages, he keeps losing his job, and I'm wondering right now how his story is going to end. But I also wonder how your story is going to happen as well. Hopefully it won't end for a long time. In one of my favorite episodes of Mad Men, Don Draper is talking to the one character in the show he is the closest to. Her name is Peggy Olson, And she asks him, what are you most afraid of? And he looks at her and says that I will die without ever having done anything and that I won't have anyone. That I'll die without having done anything and that I won't have anyone. I suppose the only advice I have for you is that no matter where you go, and no matter what you do in this life, I hope you never have to utter these words. This whole year I have told you that it's not my business what your convictions are, what your opinions are, what political party to favor, which shows to watch, which books to love or to hate, which friends to have. This is up to you. As I like to say, the greatest teachers, the best teachers, don't tell you what to think but they inspire and impassion you to find your own convictions in order to make your own way in the world. But there is one conviction I do hope you all share, and that is I hope that you all believe that your lives are a gift. I'm not sure if it's God or the universe or chance that gave you this gift, but I teach every day with the conviction that each of you has a life that is special and is filled with potential. I don't know what walks you will take. I don't know what adventures you have. I don't know who you will fall in love with or what you will do with your days. But I do hope that you will do things with your life. And I do hope that you will love the people who come in and out of them. It's been a short year, at least to me. Maybe it feels like it's been long to you. It's been a very short year. The first day seems like just yesterday. And I know if I'm being honest that many of you I will never see or hear from ever again. That's the worst part about teaching seniors. And I hope that most of you won't be strangers forever. But just know that no matter where you go in this life, and no matter what you do, I will be rooting for you in Auditorium 308. You have been a wonderful class filled with wonderful and intelligent and funny people. And I will treasure that forever. My favorite politics quote comes from Robert F. Kennedy. He says, some people look at the world and ask why. I dream of a world that never was and ask why not. Why not? Why can't your dreams become a reality? Why can't you become the people you've always dreamt of being? With that in mind, I wish you well, and you will be missed. Good luck.